the lovely Lillian Garcia. Hi, How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Very good. You're looking stunning tonight. Oh, thank you. It's a little old thing I threw on, you know. <laughs> I'm going to ask this question, and it might not mean anything to me because I'm a man, but exactly. who are you wearing? I am wearing Nina Kanachi. Lovely. I know, right? Lovely. I mean, nothing to you, but I saw this actually online. And believe it or not, I was like Googling and I saw it online. I'm like, oh, I have to wear this. Did you get a good deal? I did. <laughs> How does something like that get delivered? Like in a box or to yes, someone? It actually does. And so I just want to tell people, you don't actually have to be connected to someone else. You could actually online. There's so many things online. It's amazing. That is it's awesome. Great. That is awesome. There's a tip for the women. Right there you now. go. Yes. And what about the men? What do the men do? Uh, I, I think there's things online a lot for the men. Maybe. I'm sure everything's online these days. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the Hall of Fame, yeah. class 2016. Who are you most looking forward to seeing uh, inducted tonight? You know, I actually, I always say I love, I, I never like to pick one over the other. And the reason why is, is I really love to hear the journey that different, all these different WWE superstars go out and talk about and say their journey as how they got here and, and their journey of during the WWE. And I'm just intrigued with all the stories and that's that's what I look forward to at WWE Hall of Fame. And uh, WrestleMania, yeah. obviously, tomorrow night. Yeah. Are you uh, looking forward to the show? Silly question, really. Oh, you know, <laughs> if I have to be there. <laughs> of course I am. I mean, it's just an honor to actually be announcing again at WrestleMania. Every year that I get here is tremendous. And it's special for me because I was the first female and the first Latina to ever announce at WrestleMania. And I hold a record for singing the most amount of times there, too. So I sang three WrestleManias. Yeah. So it's very, very special to me. Which WrestleManias did you sing the national anthem at? You know, I remember I sang in the year 2000. I remember I sang at the, uh, I believe it's the, or the Orlando or uh, Miami. Yeah, I believe. I don't know the numbers. Okay. Yeah. And then I, uh, gosh, and I, I know I sang in Anaheim. I'm telling you, they all started getting blurry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to look it up. Okay. I'm sure I can Google it. <laughs> Yeah, you can find that online. Yeah. People will definitely put that up. Don't um, know more than what I know. Myself, of course, isn't it of course. <laughs> now, I need to always talk to you about uh, announcing fluff-ups, any mistakes. Oh, yeah. So, any, any recent ones? Because you've told me some brilliant stories about when you got things oh, wrong. Oh, it's funny. I don't know, really. You know what the thing is, is that, to me, it's like free throws. You can't make every free throw, yeah. and we're live TV, so you're not going to make every single. And with it shows up more for announcers. Because we're not like commentators, for example. If they miss up, they can go, oh, excuse me, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And nobody even makes any big deal about it. But we can't do that. You know, we go up there and we're like, we say it, it's done. You know, but I just go out and try to do my best. And just know it's live TV and things happen. Keep moving. Well, you are the best. Oh, um, thank you. And are you coming over to the, uh, for, the, for the UK tour in a couple yes, of weeks? I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm going to do the first half. Okay. Of, um, so we're going to start in Italy. Then we're going to go to Amsterdam, and then we'll go to the UK. And I'll finish it off in London. It's not a bad life, is it? Not a bad life. <laughs> Lillian, lovely to see you. Thank you. Thanks so you much. Too. Take Bye -bye. care.